Hey guys, this is Mac Kids and One. This is going to be learning more about your computer part two. So, um, so this is in fact part two, like I just said. So, um, please watch part one before watching part two. Um, also, uh, I will have a link in the description of the video to part one. Okay, just in case you want that. So, um, please enjoy the following video. Another interesting thing that you might not notice is that the bar at the top always says the current application right here. So if I open a new um, application, it says the application I'm on. So that's how to know which application you're actually in and which one you'll actually be quitting. Um, so that's um, that keystroke. Another thing is if you have an application like Firefox open, say you just want to hide it, get it out of the way without minimizing it, so that way... Um, you don't have to go through the trouble of pressing Command M or clicking the Minimize button. All you have to do is press Command H, and the window hides. It doesn't show up in the Minimize part of your dock, but it'll still be in your dock. It won't be transparent like mine. I just set it to do that. So now, if I click it again, it appears again. If I press Command H, it hides, and if I press Alt Tab, it comes back up. Unlike if I minimize it, pressing Alt Tab does not let it come back up unless I actually click it. Actually, it still doesn't come back up. My bad. So that's that. Um, um, so also, if you go on your desktop and you hold Command while dragging around an icon, if you have it set to not align your icons in a grid, it will align them as long as you're holding Command. Um, and vice versa. So if they're set not to align, or if they're set to align, then it won't align. It'll allow you to drag them anywhere freely. So, um, I hope you're a little more interested in your Mac now. You understand it a little bit more. But I'm just going to be showing you one more tip before we go. If in any Finder window whatsoever, even on your desktop, since that's technically a Finder window, if you press Command-J, this window will come up. And you can set the size of the icons. 48 by 48 is actually the default. The grid spacing. The text size of the icons, I can make it really big. I like it at 12 point. Okay, label position, you can actually move the labels to the right. You can show the item info, that's kind of useful, but it's annoying. Show out the item preview, and you can arrange them by snapping them to the grid. I'm just going to say not. So that's how to customize any finder window. You just go into a window, and we'll just go into slash applications and press command J and right here this window will come up and you can actually set the background on any folder so that's um, how to customize anything um, also if you right click on your menu bar on the top and you click customize toolbar you'll be able to drag extra stuff in I remember back when I didn't really know what I was doing I kinda did that Another thing is that all your applications really should be in the Applications folder, so if you've downloaded an application and it's on your desktop, and it's not a link, just drag it to your Applications folder. And since I mentioned right-clicking a lot in this video, I will also mention that when you hold Control while single left-clicking, it will bring up the um, right-click menu. So that's how to right-click um, on, on the Mac with a one-key mouse. Um, so that is, um, how to get a little smoother with your Mac by using keystrokes, by knowing how the file system is set up, and, um, really just, I hope you got a little better understanding of how your computer works exactly. So thanks for watching Mac Heads on One. Subscribe to our videos, because whenever you subscribe, it helps us help you. Um, so, thanks for watching. And goodbye.